Hi guys, uh, in today's video, we are going to see how you can use auto input with Tasker. So the task which we are going to create is uh, is uh, for shutdown. So if you have any requirement like uh, in which you need to create a shortcut for shutdown or you might want to uh, execute a shutdown event uh, on a specific time, then all for those scenarios, it can be used. So for that, uh, we need a Tasker and a auto input uh, plugin so in order to get started uh, you need to open the tasker and click on add button we will just create a task from the scratch i will just uh, give a name sh shutdown to uh, name doesn't matter you can uh, give any name so uh, in order to uh, access the power button like uh, what we need to do is we need to uh, access this particular menu and then uh, we need to click in this particular uh, button so I, I am able to uh, do it successfully one time so let's see how it will go this time so for that uh, you need to add a task with auto input So uh, here are uh, here there are four actions. So out of them, uh, we need to use global action because uh, it will cover uh, this back button, uh, center one, and the recent application. So let's just click on this, and you need to click on the configuration part. So now you can see it shows action, password, and other things. So we will just use action. So inside that action, you can see uh, there are lots of options available. So what we are interested in is uh, power dialog. So I will just use power dialog. And then you need to click on this uh, right button. So we tend to forget or I think uh, we tend to do a back button and it is not uh, getting saved. So we need to just click on this right button. So now action is saved. Now. Now we can safely uh, click on the back button and it will uh, keep on saying that uh, we can add different types of actions. So what we are interested in just a click. So we will just uh, go with the default setting and uh, let's test it. So in order to test it uh, any action, we can just click on this play button. So when it, it will going to execute it, it will show this uh, button which we are interested in. Now the second task will be we are going to again uh, add a uh, plugin auto input and where there uh, we need to choose action and, and try to click on this uh, particular section. So let's just do that. Uh, let me just click on add and again filter out auto input. So now uh, we need to use auto input action. Previously we have selected global action but this time we are going to use auto input action. So again, we need to go to the configuration. So now uh, there are a bunch of uh, very different options is available. You don't need to worry about those. We, you just need to use this easy setup uh, option. So when you click on it, it will say that uh, there will be a notification so when uh, when you try to do it it will just uh, like uh, it will available in the option so when you wants to actually perform something what you need to do is you need to just uh, bring out this notification and click on add and then start doing things i will show you so let's just close this one it's a kind of a tricky part i always get confused with it but once you understand it then it will look very easy so as you can see this is the notification part and this is add so when you think that uh, that particular window is visible and you are ready to click only then you need to click on this add button so let me just try it so let's just first uh, bring out this power action and now i will okay uh, let's try it one more time 
okay so i am not able to access the notification so let's just uh, click on add first and then i will bring out this power button and now i will uh, click on this power of action so now you can see uh, it didn't turn off the whole thing because uh, because of this notification i am able to actually select this so if you uh, like uh, read it carefully but it is saying that id is icon and text is power off so it is able to read this particular section and it is also getting the points of it so in the screen it will uh, this particular section is 1224 and 390 so that's how i think uh, how the screen works is is zero here and zero in the bottom so that uh, pixel is drawn like this so maybe x axis is 1224 and from y axis it is 390 so that's how it is able to select it so let's just accept it so this is very uh, important uh, part so you need to accept it here and when you do that let's just try it one more time so when you do that what it will say is don't touch anything just bring the tasker because it is already in a application switching mode so what you need to do is uh, you need to see the tasker icon i'm not sure whether it is uh, showing or not but this is the tasker one so when you click on it it will show these options element id element text and element center point so i will suggest that uh, use element text because it will always be power off and now we need to select the actual action what we need to perform so action will be one click not a long click so click will be fine for us then in order to choose it, in order to choose it uh, we can just click on it and then again uh, carefully we need to click on the right button so now uh, everything seems uh, perfect and then uh, we can just go back and now uh, we have two options i mean uh, two actions inside a task so first we'll bring out the power dialog and second one we'll going to click on it so let's just try it so uh, when this happens uh, it will actually shut down the whole tablet so let's see whether it will be uh, doing that or not so in order to test it we can just click on the play button and now it happens very fast and as you can see uh, i am able to shut it down so now i have the task and i can uh, do whatever things i can do with it so i hope uh, you like the video and uh, If you have any question regarding this please comment below I will try to answer them as soon as possible so thanks for watching have a nice day bye